Spider pig, spider pig, does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out, he is a spider pig. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lachlan here and welcome to episode one of my brand new series, guys. This is my Minecraft mod review series and of course episode one featuring the morph or shapeshifter mod. So guys, like I said, I have never done a mod review before on my channel, apart from these Pixel 1 3.0 features that I did about a month ago with the latest update, and it sort of seemed like a mod review setting, and I did enjoy making those videos, and you guys did enjoy watching them. So I wanted to step out into seeing other mods, mainly those to do uh, with Crazy Craft, because as you guys know, I have my Crazy Craft series, which has like over 50 mods, and it's hard to grasp all of them. So the main goal of this series at the start of it is to just show off everything in Crazy Craft pretty much, apart from a couple new ones that I really, really just want to show off and get to know them a lot better so in my series, I'm not making you guys annoyed with just not knowing how things work and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, like I said, for episode one, I would really love to see your support with slapping that like button. Let's try to go for 5,000, I think sounds reasonable for our first ever mod review. Of course, featuring a pretty cool mod. But uh, before we get into the mod today, guys, I want to show off the house to you. So welcome to 101 Mod Lane. Apparently we got mail, but I'm not going to check the mailbox. Um, this is, one of, like I said, 101 Mod Lane, and this is the place where we will be reviewing all of the mods in this series, guys. So this uh, house and or, I guess, I guess you say facility, was built by the Voxel Box. I asked if they could uh, make me a cool house to review all my mods, uh, just because that was the main reason I didn't start my series, is because I didn't know where to start. And with this house, I can pretty much review everything. So I want to show off to you guys the main place. This is the opening place with a lot of chests, uh, just for storage and stuff. And this is the recipe classroom. So guys, this is a nice little cool feature. Um, so this is where I'll be showing off a lot of the crafting recipes in a lot of the new mods that I'll be showcasing. And of course, just think of it like this. You're in a seat here just watching and I'm the teacher telling you what to do and pointing to the board. This is, I like this little classroom. They made a cool little design here. But yeah, so that's the classroom. And uh, yeah, we'll step outside because there's lots of cool things outside. So uh, first thing to our right here, we have a nice little arena um, where I'm going to use to review a lot of the bigger mobs. Now, I don't, I think that can fit a Mobzilla, assuming it doesn't uh, wreck the place. But uh, that was the main goal, just to fit Mobzilla at least, because if it gets bigger than that, that's just crazy. Um, a nice little fishing dock over here for some, uh, I guess, aquarium mobs. I'm not too sure. Other things like that that involve water. And there's also like a fishy down there. I can see a little fishy in there. Or some squids in there as well. Um, and then, of course, a nice little beach. And this is pretty cool. I really can't wait to use this. This is the runway slash helicopter pad where I'll be reviewing a lot of the mobs, uh, mods, sorry, I said mobs, uh, mods that uh, make you fly up into the sky and stuff like that. Nice little cool runway with a nice little tower. Um, and then over here we have a firing range to test a lot of the uh, weapons in the mods that uh, have ranged weaponry. And then over here, I think this is the last thing out here, which is my nice little figure out figure eight race track where I'll be using to review a lot of the uh, little race car mods and stuff like that. Ones that have cars and stuff. I'm sure that'll be pretty funny. I can't wait to use that one as well. Uh, next up we have the laboratory where I'll be testing a lot of things to do with like uh, mods that involve like crafting and stuff like that and other things like potions and other crafting enchanting stuff like that. Uh, and then last but not least we have the mob prison. Now I hope they haven't got out. I'm not sure if they disappeared but Time by time, you'll see some mobs in it. Oh, is that a skeleton? Yeah, there's a skeleton in there. So this is just a... Wow, there's, there's lots of mobs in here. I didn't even put any here. It's like the light levels are too low to, like, not despawn them. But, uh, yeah, so that's a nice little place where I'll be using today, actually, to review the Morph mod. So, yeah, guys, like I said, this is going to be a really cool series, and I can't wait to get started. So let's get right into the Morph mod. Okay guys, getting started on the morph mod, what you guys need to do straight after you've installed the mob is you need to start killing things in order to gain their abilities and models. So first off, what I'm going to do, I've already gone and killed pretty much every uh, mob, but I uh, haven't killed a different style of villager. So every time you kill a new mob or a different style of them, therefore like a skeleton and a wither skeleton, or for example right now, a villager and a different type of villager. So as you can see, after I kill him, I'd go black and I turn into him. So that's me shape-shifting into a villager. And then as you can see, you can click the bracket keys to open up the menu with all of the mobs. Now I'm just gonna review the vanilla section, guys, but this, is, this mob is 
uh, compatible with other mods such as the uh, All Spawn mod and other ones that put mobs into it. Uh, it can be used with Pixelmon, which we might get into later this episode as well. But uh, yeah, just like that, you can select which mob you want to transform in by clicking the left mouse button or enter, and that will turn you into him. So as you can see here, it has uh, little things next to the zombie uh, uh, GUI, I guess you'd say. Next to it has like two little icons, and those means the uh, abilities it comes with. So the zombie, for example, I think I need to go into game mode, ha comes with two abilities. One of them is a bad one, and one of them is a good one. So as you can see, if I go into game mode, uh, wait, I need to do this first, my bad. <laughs> uh, as you can see, once I go into game mode, I start taking health pretty quickly, and that is the sunburn ability, which isn't great. Uh, that's just like the Minecraft mobs themselves, how they take uh, damage when the sun's out. And the other ability is to be uh, protected from mobs, so it's a hostile sort of thing that other skeletons and that won't attack you. Um, I could display that right now, although it is on easy, so I can't get them to spawn. Uh, same with the skeleton, same boss. But however, to move over to the uh, with the skeleton, what you need to do is instead of pressing the bracket keys to go up and down, you hold shift and then do the bracket keys. You can see my zombie shifted then. And then press the left mouse button or enter. And as you can see, the wither skeleton is a little taller than a normal skeleton. And he comes with one additional buff, and that is to be protected from lava and protected from the wither effect. Um, now that's a pretty cool, uh, yeah, it's pretty good right there. Um, so I can go test that lava one out right now, as you can see. I can just go straight in. Uh, I'm gonna press escape there to get rid of the menu. And I can go straight into lava and it's just like, yeah, oh, I probably should get out of game mode. Um, yeah, it's fine. So yeah, that's his cool effect right there. Uh, next one is creeper. That doesn't come with much. It only comes with the uh, hostel so that nothing attacks you. Uh, a really interesting one right here is the spider. So the spider is pretty cool. He is fat just like his model. He's only two blocks wide. But his really cool ability is that he can climb blocks just like spiders can. Just like a Spider-Man. <laughs> so yeah, he can climb the blocks. Pretty cool uh, ability right there, being able to climb everything. Um, next up, we have the slime, which doesn't come with anything. It's uh, just that. But a nice little cool thing is that you can go between the actual... Uh, the actual sizes of the slime, you can be a cute little slime. I guess that's the only cool thing with this guy right here. Um, next up, we have the Enderman, which is quite freaky. I'll get to that in a bit, but I want to skip all the way down to the chicken right now and show that off right now. So, the chicken's an interesting one. He has a really, uh, in, uh, I guess you'd say individual ability right now, where he can just jump straight down and he floats down just like a chicken and you don't take fall damage. This one's really cool. Uh, you may have seen it in the Battle Dome Morph mod that we did the other day. Um, chicken was very, very popular. Um, moving on, let's go back up to the Enderman. So just like an Enderman, he uh, does have a water allergy. So if I go in the water, he won't like it. He starts taking damage. And I think the same is for lava. But, yeah, the same as for lava, but, yeah, it's not as bad. And then you cool yourself off in the lava, and then you still take damage. Um, so that's the Enderman. Uh, moving on, the Ghast is quite... Oh, no, I don't think we'll fit through the door, because he's a real fat one. Oh, we got through. Wait, can he fit... No, oh, we just got through while we were shape-shifting. So the Ghast is a real interesting one. He's very, very fat, as you can tell. But the cool thing is, is that he has creative flying, so you can fly just like you are in creative, like a bat, if you've seen me do that in Crazy Craft a couple times. The only downfall is that he's really, really fat and easy to hit um, with bows and arrows, and then we're going over the pond with the fish. Uh, but he's also immune to lava as well, which is a nice, cool feature. Um, so the gas is pretty cool, not to lie there. Uh, next up, we have the zombie pigman, which doesn't come with too many buffs as I morph back into him. Uh, just the only thing is that you can uh, not take damage from lava. Uh, moving on, we have the cave spider, which, just like the spider, um, I would prefer the cave spider more than that, because he's only one block, uh, one by one, he's not a fat spider. Um, he can also climb blocks, and I think he still takes full damage, yep. But the cool thing is, is that this guy is immune to poison damage, which is a nice little cool feature there, so he doesn't take uh, damage from poison. Uh, next up, we have the silverfish, which is the smallest... Uh, one out of the lot here. He is a real, real creepy one. You can put him, like, in a corner, and... Oh, I wonder if we can fit in the bin. I shift... Oh, we can fit in the bin! Look! Oh, I think you can always fit in the bin, but, yeah, that's, like, the best hiding spot right there. Um, yeah, so that's, like, the silverfish. He's really, really small. Um, doesn't come with any abilities apart from not being, uh, visible by hostile mobs, so you don't get hit. Um, so that's the silverfish. Blaze, another really cool one. He comes with four actual abilities. 
Um, he comes with the Blaze, who can fly. Uh, sorry, well, obviously he's the Blaze. It's the Blaze, yo. Um, he can fly, um, and he can also uh, be immune from lava, but he can't actually go in the water, I believe. I would make That would make a lot of sense. Yep, can't go in the water, and I think that's it. Oh, yeah, he can't go in the water, can't go in the... Oh, no, he is immune from lava, and flies as well. So that's this guy. Magma Cube, pretty interesting, not going to lie. So I'm going to quickly fly up here before I change into this guy. Um, he's got a special... Oh, not a special effect, but a really cool one. He just flat out doesn't take full damage, doesn't even care about it. Just says, not, not happening today, we're just not going to take full damage. And he's also immune from lava. That is another interesting one. I know it's getting a little repetitive, but uh, we need to go through all of the vanilla ones because that's what this mod's based around. And that he just gives standard creative flying. Nice little cool one there. Um, witch, nothing special. Pig, nothing special. Sheep and cows, same deal. Chicken, we've gone through that. Mushroom, the squid is quite special. Actually, let's go to the ocelot first. Um, oh yeah, let's do these guys. So the ocelot is another, uh, I guess you should say magma cube. Doesn't care about the full damage. Just not going to phase him. Uh, the horse. Horse has its own little special one as well. So when you're riding horses, you really don't need to think about like one step blocks. It doesn't really matter. So as you can see here, it pretty much, just like as if you're riding a horse, negates the whole need to jump a one step block. However, you can't jump a two block, which is quite annoying, but you just don't need to jump um, a one step block, which is pretty cool. So that's like a feature that he has there, two step thing right there. Uh, and then another cool one, I think, uh, the Iron Golem, I don't know what that does. I think he just goes slow. Like, I'm not sure because it's got some, like, way down effect. Let me just try in the water. I, I, I couldn't figure this one out. Like, he has some, like, drowning ability or something. I don't know. I think he just doesn't take, uh, like, he doesn't, yeah. Yeah, so he doesn't um, drown. He can stay in the water forever. And um, that's what this guy's about. And then the next one, the last on it. No, we're almost up to last. So the first, uh, the second last one we have here is the snow golem. And, oh, he takes water. In, he takes, yeah, he's got a water allergy, this guy. And like always, he creates snow blocks, doesn't he? He was creating snow blocks in the house. I don't know why he's just decided not to do it now. Like we were in here and he was just creating snow blocks. Maybe it was just because I killed him and then he was just doing it then. Oh, there we go. Now it's doing the snow blocks. Why was it doing it now, but it wasn't doing it before? Maybe it needs to be like a certain light level or certain things. I don't know. Oh, maybe he doesn't produce it every time. Not too sure, but that is the snow golem. And last but not least, this guy right here. If you watch the Morph Madeloom, this one was hilarious. The squid. So the squid is quite interesting in that if you're on the land, you have air bubbles. And uh, that's you're also really slow and can't jump very well at all and move very slow on the land. Um, that's one trade back right there, but you as you'll see you start taking damage really really quickly It'll just go as if you're in the water just bang 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 But if we go in the water we get it all back and we also swim really really fast in the water So hey squiddies, how are you? <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna fly down to the bottom here and see this cool little fishy You actually swim pretty fast in here not going to lie um, Your vertical speed isn't too fast, but your horizontal speed is really really good and then you can like Jump up on the shore and be like, whoa. Oh, nope. Not going to do that, apparently. Jeez, he's not very good, is he? Um, another feature I guess I like to show is the last lot of things to show off in this mod. Uh, so as you can see here, I switched back to my player skin. But I'm going to show you guys how to select favorite mob skins. So if say if I wanted to, like I did for my series, actually, I go to the bat and I press F. And that puts a, no, you press the, uh, don't press F. You press the tilde key, which is that squiggly key. It's this one. Um, I'll just type it in chat that that key right there because um, I didn't know what a tilde key was until Preston told me um, So you press that key and then that will make it your favorite So if you hold that key from now on it'll bring up this selection and you can use your mouse to go up and down And you can quickly morph on the fly to your favorite mob and uh, yeah go off for takeoff um, That's just a nice little feature there And of course if you do want to delete mobs for some reason you can just go up to it and click delete and that'll delete it for you but I think that is pretty much all the features in this mod. Now I'm in vanilla at least. Now I'm going to show off what you guys can do with other mods in it. All right, guys. To end off this mod review, I want to show you how this mod works with Pixelmon. So it actually doesn't work with the latest version of Pixelmon, which is a bit of a bummer. But in the 2.5 versions, you can use it to morph into your favorite Pixelmon that are in it. So I've already got my Pikachu morph, which is quite cute. I'm going to do them right now. 
He's like a little cute one right here. <laughs> and his head rotates off sometimes, so it might be a little evil. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, I'm a little Pikachu. And I think uh, Little Lizard and Elenicraft did a couple hide and seeks with these bad boys, which just looked like a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, to actually get the morse, what you need to do is, well, what just happened there? Oh, I pressed R at the same time. You need to get out your uh, whatever Pokemon you want to morph into, and you need to kill it with a uh, splash of damage potions. And uh, yeah, you'll turn into a Charmander. Ready? Look. And bang. Oh, whoop. He, it looks like I got him when he was moving, so he's a moving Charmander. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, guys, anyway, I hope you did enjoy this little mini mod review of the Morph Mod. If you guys did, like I said at the start of the episode, be sure to leave a like. Let's try to hit that like goal of 5,000 for our first ever mod review. And I'll see you guys hopefully maybe in a couple days with another mod review. It's not going to be a daily series, but something special I want to do on my channel. So yeah, guys, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys next time.